I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and here's the story. The Odessa Police Department SWAT team and the Crisis Negotiating Team have individualized training throughout the year. Once a year in the month of October, SWAT and CNT have joint training operations. In this day and age, there's always going to be a hostage situation, uh, family disturbances or something like that where somebody's taken hostage or uh, somebody who has mental problems may end up barricading themselves and may be a threat to the community. So then we, uh, we get together and we train on trying to uh, take care of that issue by having the negotiators, because we all, what we want to do first is have negotiators at least try to talk these people out, and we're the we're second resort. If we can't get them out, then we have to then go in sometimes and get them. And this type of training helps us with that. The training scenario is of a hostage situation. The goal of this type of training scenario is to get closer to the subject, making movements that will allow the SWAT team to get closer to the location and make an assessment of the situation. Uh, hostages that you have a um, suspect and they can have somebody inside that they're not allowed to uh, come out of the house. And we have to then try to talk them into letting the, uh, the victim out and then if the victim comes out, then it all turns into a barricaded subject. A barricaded subject is somebody who's just in the house by himself, and really the only threat he is is to himself and not anybody else around. And sometimes on barricaded subjects, they could be the type that uh, if we didn't come there, they may then end up leaving the house and become a threat to the community. So then we then keep them in and try to negotiate them out. The city of Odessa has allowed the SWAT team to use houses that are scheduled to be demolished for their training scenarios. This opportunity allows the team a more accurate sense of what they may encounter in an active hostage situation. It gives an opportunity to see different floor plans and have them to be able to think and figure out a way of uh, solving the situation. Over 50 SWAT team members, including the negotiating team, participated in the training scenario. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Follow us, DRB Media Communications, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and now on DannyVisionEntertainment.com. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.